uh, I learned about um, kind of signs for watching for autism, like uh, stimming or repetitive motion, um, and how that's actually used to calm, calm and uh, not necessarily a sign of being agitated, maybe just being a little overwhelmed. I learned about the idea of uh, visual scheduling um, and being able to lay things out in kind of uh, in kind of a clear, organized way, but not going too fast so that there's time to process each sort of step. And about just knowing to even if a student isn't making you know eye contact or seems to be quiet, it doesn't necessarily mean they're not understanding things or they're not uh, competent. One thing it did hit home was how the older population gets kind of sink or swim. You're left to kind of figure it out. And that just shows me, you know, why especially music is really important for people with challenges because it gives them a passion, which will help them, which gives them a path to work for. And so then they will want to create a life for themselves. You know, autism is sort of, I guess, you know, as humans, you know, all mental issues are kind of on a spectrum and normal people are just kind of the less intense version. I think autism, because it's, a, a more intense version of these mental conditions. It, it helps us to see, you know, maybe the way that we treat, you know, we're taught to treat aut autistic kids is also a way to treat all kids. So, you know, rather than looking at bad behavior and immediately trying to curb it and discipline it, looking at where it's coming from is something you do with autism. And I, I think it's it's true too with kids. Like if you if you just if you just have a normal kid who continually acts out and your answer is just kind of this one dimensional stop it you know and you never address what's underlying that then that can be really problematic so